Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries and here with another Bible review. Some of you have probably seen this in Christian bookstores or online. It's the KJV Foundation Study Bible, large print by Thomas Nelson. Now, if you want to get the ISBN number, it's right there. And this is the Black Leather Soft. And if you know me, I like genuine leather or better premium leather. But if I'm going to have something cheaper, it's, I'm not going to go bonded. I'm going to go the Leather Soft. It just lasts longer. This is actually a really good Bible for new believers or believers who have been in the faith a while and just want not a real deep, deep study Bible, but one that has some good notes that lays a foundation of what the scriptures have and what the scriptures mean. So there's some notes in this that kind of gives a little commentary on the passage, but also some practical. So there's a little bit of life application notes in it as well. So, let's see. If you want to pause in the back, it gives you some of the information. It isn't a comfort print. So, there's some of the information about the Bible. We'll go through it. Okay, so let's get this out of here. So, this is not a premium Bible. And it's not made to be. But, it's nice. Once again, it has the black leather soft. It has a little bit of a pattern to it. You can see that does have perimeter stitching all around. Of course, it's not gonna be like a leather line. It is a paste down liner. It's like a cardstock. It's not edge lined. Does have two ribbons. and does have black head and tail bands. It's gold gilted, so it's not art gilted. Like I said, it's not a premium. The ribbons are, looks like double satin, they're black and gold. Take one out so you can see how long it is. It's long enough to turn the page if you use it to do that. There we go. Let's see, now it is Smythe sewn. So there is stitching, you can see down in there. So it is Smythe sewn. So, and what does Smythe sewn mean? A lot of people want to know. So the, you'll see some lines here and those are signatures. What they do is they take maybe 25, 50, pages and they sew them together and then they sew them all together in the binding so it's just not glued together it is sewn for longevity the actual measurements of the bible itself is nine and a half inches long six and a half inches wide and about one and three-fourths of an inch thick does have foundation study bible on the side kjv and their logo so let's get into this Page is gonna be, I'm gonna think low 30 GSM. It does have, it's not ultra soft and it's not rough. So it's kind of just a, a nice feeling paper. It's, it feels good to turn the page. You don't have to worry about it's gonna bend or crease or something like that. It does It is in comfort print, like I said, designed by 2K Denmark. So what's really nice about it, so it does have level point font for the print. And here's what's nice. The, the actual notes is nine point. And it does have your references here. Now, instead of having in the center column or in the margins, they put them down here on every page. And that makes the references easy to find. So let's look at some of the things this Bible has. You do have a book introduction. Usually they have the author, time, key verse, and the theme of the book. And then just the text of the book itself. It has great print size. You could preach out of this, teach out of this. If your eyes are a little older, it's easy to read. It does have uh, concise study notes. So they are good. I might share it with you a couple of the study notes. It has theological notes, cross-references, and concordance we're going to look at. And there's a study guide in the back of the Bible we're going to look at as well. What's nice about the Bible, every book will start on its own page. And you have some room for notes. You can still write your book introduction notes here. And this allows you extra notes in the back of every book. And if I have more notes, I would like to have in the front. I'll just sit there and say, see end of book. And I'll hit go to the end of the book of Exodus. And it might have some extra space here. Some will have a half a page, some will have a little bit, but there's still some room for notes. 
has your page numbers on the outside. What's nice about it, it still puts your book and the chapter and verse on the pages. So it's not in the middle, so you can still easily see when you're thumbing through. It does have sectional headers in black. There's the black ribbon. This is a red letter Bible. Let you see that. I'll show you how I'm just thumbing through these pages. This would be a great bag Bible, a great car Bible, and just one you're going to take on the street, maybe ministering or you're teaching somewhere. It's a good Bible to have. Okay, here's the red letter. It's a good red. It's not as dark as some, like premium Bibles have the brick red, but it's, it has a nice dark red so you can read it easily. So let's take a look at one of the notes. You know, when Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 is talking about the gospel, and really it's a simple gospel message, I have a little quick note on that, and it's kind of interesting. Paul said, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So they just break it down really easy here. The gospel message, Paul makes it clear here that evangelism should be centered on the gospel of Christ. The central point of the good news is Christ's death and resurrection. The four key points about that gospel are, and here it is. God's word says all are sinners condemned to hell. He's got some references. Number two, there's nothing a sinner can do on his own to save himself. References. Christ was born, crucified, and resurrected to save lost people from their sin. References. And to be saved, a sinner must believe God's word and invite Christ into his or her heart by faith. Verses. So right there, you have very simple notes about the scriptures. Once again, this is a great Bible for new believers who need some little bit of help in understanding the scriptures. Now, there are some notes. If there's two opposing views, they will show you the note. And they will say, likely, this is what it means. And they'll say, others interpret it this way. So it, it kind of does give you a duel of what it could mean. Always remember this. The scripture text itself is inspired. Commentary is not. It could be anointed, but it's not inspired. So you're going to find things that you disagree with in the commentary. You'll find that in every study Bible. And so you, you take what, you know, the good, cast out the bad. And, but there's not a really a bad things in this. It just gives you alternate what it could be. Here's the biggest thing about the word of God. All your doctrine comes from scripture only. Taken in context compared with other passages of scripture. And when the Holy Spirit wrote it, unless it's a dual meaning of the verse, and some you'll see there's dual meanings like prophecy, there's a, a short view of prophecy and a future view of prophecy, things like that. But for the most part, the Holy Spirit's going to mean one thing. So it's, it's up to you to study it through to see exactly what that verse is meaning. He's not going to mean two things, even if they say there's two views. The Holy Spirit's going to mean one. And so you got to understand and study the scriptures yourself to find out what that is. But let's look at a good note, a very famous passage, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let's look at the note in verse 16. It's a good one. Belief involves understanding, knowing, living, and being committed to a relationship with God. How one does all that is so different from not doing it. It is like being born again to a new life. Nicodemus had a little knowledge. What Nicodemus failed to understand was the nature of spiritual reality. He was earthbound and didn't understand that Jesus and belief are God things. He could not get from where he was to where Jesus was on the road of his understanding. He needed to accept a new road. 
namely the one Jesus was walking toward him. Jesus draws us to that light, his light. We have to respond to it as Nicodemus did over time. Belief involves internalizing these truths with our whole hearts and minds being born again, letting all of ourselves be exposed to and by that light. Even uh, John 3, 3 is a good one. Jesus answered, said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Let's look at that point. Jesus was explaining to Nicodemus that there is more to having a right relationship with God than being physically born a Jew. The new birth is not physical, rather it is spiritual. Verse 6, it must come by the Spirit of God if it is a spiritual birth. So you see that from, from the notes, it is a Bible that can really help uh, a new believer or someone who's been a believer for a long time, but is just finally falling in love with and getting into God's Word. And so it's a good one at that. What's also nice about it is your reference letters and stuff is not very big. So if you're not looking for it, it's a cl it's pretty well clean read. But like very Blair said to thee, except a man be born of water. So E, 5E, you look down here, 3, 5E, Acts 2, 38. And so it is really easy to follow the references as well. So now let's look at the back. It has theological notes indexed by location. So all your notes, when you look up creation, Genesis 1 through, you're going to find notes on all of those topics. Really good for Bible studies. Really good if you're preparing for teaching, group discussions, if you're a facilitator. And then theological notes indexed by title. Has a really good concordance. It's a double column concordance. Each main word is all caps. And then you have each entry has its own line. So a base, a base M that is high, and your reference. And like I said, that's a pretty good long concordance. And I encourage you to use your concordance. It is a valuable tool in finding scriptures. You got a harmony of the Gospels. So, for instance, you have date, event, location, and then what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, where that's found, and then other related references. And that is something that a lot of harmony of the Gospels do not have. Jesus' final week of work at Jerusalem in 41 events. So, very good harmony of the Gospels. The miracles of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, where they're located. The parables of Jesus Christ. Prayers of the Bible. Prophecies of Messiah fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Presented here in their order of fulfillment. This is a valuable tool, especially if you're witnessing to somebody and they have a hard time believing Jesus is who he is. So you have the prophetic scripture, you have the subject, and you have the fulfillment. And that is a valuable tool when you're showing people how Jesus fulfilled all those prophecies. You have a note about the uh, comfort print by 2K Denmark. And then you have the maps. So, I encourage uh, you uh, to get one of these if you're a new believer or you're a believer just getting back into the Word of God and you need some, some extra notes to help along that process and that journey. I do have affiliate link in the video description so you can see more. If you like what you watched, hit like, subscribe, and the bell for more notifications of more videos. And so uh, we have Bible reviews, teaching videos, preaching videos, topical videos, all kinds of videos. And so I hope you enjoy it. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless.